So hello guys, my name is Pranam Gurkar. I am currently pursuing my masters from IIT Bhubaneswar in Computer Science and Engineering. And this video is basically uh, basically regarding the three things which you uh, need to know before joining MTech CSE in any of the IITs. Okay. So the first thing is that uh, you should know basic coding stuff like DSA, and you should know if uh, you should know how to implement the basic data structures and algorithms. And uh, because this will be uh, this will be helpful in your first semester because all the projects and all the assignments will be based on coding only, right? So uh, this is the most important thing. Coming to the second thing, which is resume. You should uh, you should have a basic resume uh, which is built in LaTeX. Okay. So uh, if you don't know LaTeX, you can uh, search for like Overleaf, and you will get many of the templates there for resume. You can build one for uh, yourself. Um, it will be helpful because uh, during your M Tech, you will get many opportunities for internships. And obviously, uh, in second year, you will sit for placements also. So uh, you you will need a basic resume, uh, which will be helpful uh, uh, if if any opportunity comes uh, suddenly, right? So uh, th this is the second point. The third is before joining M Tech, uh, you should uh, uh, at least revise all the eight subjects once. Or um, I will I will say like try to focus on the system subjects, which is uh, basically operating systems, computer networks, computer architecture, because many of the courses uh, in your first semester will be based on these subjects, uh, will be based on the system subjects only. So uh, it will be helpful for you to cope up with um, the MTech curriculum in the first semester. So uh, as many of you heard that the first semester in MTech is very hectic. So yeah, uh, that is uh, that is true. Uh, so we have covered three points till now. The first one was you should know a basic coding, basic coding stuff, and basic implementations of all the data structures and algorithms. And the second was resume. You should have a uh, res basic resume template. And the third one was. You should revise all the eight subjects once, and if possible, try to revise the system subjects properly. Then coming to the fourth point, uh, as soon as you join MTech, try to apply for the internships, uh, which will be uh, which will be there for the next summer. So uh, you will get the opportunity right there and itself in the first semester, which will be helpful if you will convert it to a PPO. Okay. So try to apply for the internships as many of you uh, have completed your B Tech. So you must have done the uh, basic development part. Like uh, many of you were aware of Monstack or any of the development, uh, whichever you prefer. So try to build projects. Uh, if if you have already uh, if you already have projects, then directly uh, apply for the internships. It will be helpful. Um, and those who have not done any of these things in their B Tech, please uh, start it early in M Tech so that you can cover all the project related part and resume building part in the first year itself. Uh, and you will be free to apply for any of the companies and for uh, internships in your uh, in the beginning of your second year and also uh, in your second year when you will sit for placements and now coming to the fifth point building a good cgpa in your first year right it uh, as uh, you will sit for placements after your first year itself so there will be something to showcase it about uh, your first year first year so i will suggest to maintain a cgpa of at least 8 and above okay so that you will be eligible for all the companies visiting your campus and also um, you will get an edge over other aspirants who, who are aspiring off campus for any other company right so these were the five points which i um, which i wanted to uh, tell all the new joiners in mtech okay so um, in the last i would say like uh, congratulations to all of you for making it to iits and iits triple iits um, and wish you a great future ahead so if you have any other queries regarding what to do and not to do before joining mtech so um, you can comment it down below and also can reach out to me on linkedin or instagram so um, i will share the handle uh, in the description section so yeah 
uh, that's all for this video and i hope uh, you have understood all the things properly so yeah all the best thank you